30 Days, the hit TV show when we take celebrity people and have them live in the average lives of modern day civilians. This is literature edition, so we're gonna have your favorite not real life characters that are come to real life, and they'll live average lives of the modern day person. They'll work nine to five jobs and have to fight for survival, like we all do every day. They'll get regular wages and won't be rich or live in made up worlds. Let's see how they fare. Come on. Hey, so I'm O'Brien. Um, I just came here from Oceana and you know, I'm really looking to make a big splash on the, uh, the international television, you know? And you know, if I'm living here, my priorities have gotta be surveillance, everybody's gotta be doing the right thing, and a lot of control like over the environment. Uh, yeah, cameras, I, I need some cameras set up around the place. That, that is a essential need. My name's Winston. There's not much to know about me. Um, I got a varicose ulcer. If you want to see it, it's... Nice to make your acquaintance, sir. Yes. Hi. Do you have Red VPN yet? No? Well, what are you waiting for? It is a great product which helps to keep you from being surveillanced upon by the government, our government, America, as well as other foreign governments, which may, may want to surveillance upon you like other governments would do in such a situation. What do I say? Is there anything else I need? Hi, I'm Julia. I'm happy to be here. Um, I think this will be really fun if we all work together in an anti-junior sex league. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, so we really need to start getting some money and we really need to get jobs. So I guess we're going to have to get minimum wage jobs? Yeah, I mean that's the only yeah. thing we're qualified for. And minimum wage earners in the United States can only earn up to $23,000 a year. So combined, that's about $69,000 a year, but after income tax, we're down to $61,000 a year. Now, the poverty threshold for three people is around $19,000, so we're well above that, but only if we work together are we going to be able to, like, survive, basically. Yeah, we should probably, you know, put our money onto needs and not wants. <clears throat> All, right. All right, so we need to talk about expenses. All right, so we got some expenses. Let's, let's talk some statistics here. Rent, 1500 Mm -hmm. Food, 750 to 800 Right. We're going to need to get to our jobs. Transportation, probably like 150 between the three of us. Water, essential, 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. Electricity, yeah, I, I guess don't, we don't need that. Don't need yeah. that. Um, yeah. Health insurance, yeah. other health costs, I'm thinking a couple thousand dollars just to put aside since we have nothing in savings right now. And other expenses, hopefully totaling no more than $500 a month. Right. And we're okay. going to have to keep that low. Right. So, if we start saving now, we should have enough to be lenient with our expenses down the road, which will really help us a lot in case there's an emergency or something. Okay. So, uh, let's get jobs. I'll go to an office building downtown. I guess I'll check out a car dealership. And, uh, I'll work at the governor's office. You know, like, tomorrow, probably gonna be hit or miss if I get this job or not. Um, I'm not really committed, but I am really committed to getting some cameras, so we're gonna see how that goes. About to head to bed. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow, I'm gonna get a job. Really hope they don't ask for private information because I'm not gonna give any to them. Gotta get some good money out of this so we can make the 30 days, it's gonna be rough. We gotta budget well. We got it all planned out, so we'll see if we can do it. I've never really envisioned myself as a uh, saleswoman, but I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm pretty confident in my abilities and I love being part of something and I'm really looking forward to contributing to the group. <laughs> Where's O'Brien? I don't know. Maybe he went to work already. Huh, well, we'll see. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm 
for setting up this camera that I brought from home. Well, you didn't ask us. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, like, there's a lot of cameras in public places, and they don't ask people if they can set those up either, right. so. But this is where we live. I don't want to be recorded where we live. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll take it down if you guys don't mind. That would be very good. Problem. Bye, Have a good Brian. day at work. Going to my new job now. It's this nice office building downtown. Hopefully, we can get some money for the group, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to need you to fill out some forms for me. This is your I-9. State taxes, federal taxes, social security information, employee waiver, your direct deposit form, of course, the employee handbook. Why does the government need all that, sir? Well, the government needs it to pay you correctly. You shouldn't worry about it, though. You can trust the government. It's the government, after all. Hi, yes, I'm looking for a car today. Oh, well, this, this one is, uh, right here. Yes, car, wow. very nice, very, very nice shiny. You know, I think it's a done deal. This is awesome. exactly what I'm looking Perfect. for. Perfect. How many sets of keys do you need? Just, just the one, just the one. Oh, you're not married? I, I am, but uh, my wife, she's not allowed to drive. She's not allowed to drive? Yeah. You just don't let her drive. She yeah. Just sit, you just drive her around, or do you just like right? Sit no, at home? she's just not allowed in the car. Is she not 16? Does well, she not have a license? No, she's. So it's my government. My my government has a law that says that women can't drive. I, I mean, it's my government. My government's always right. Your government's always right. Right. It's a law that they made, and I've got to follow it as a citizen, even if I don't agree with it. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Hello, sir. I would like to apply for a job at this federal establishment. It's a resume. Let's take a look here. All right, if you would, I'll have you fill out this background check, sir. Wait a minute. Why do I have to fill out a background check? President of the United States can appoint whoever he wants to to any position that he pleases. Well, you see, there's certain qualifications you have to meet, so I can't afford to have you compromise the privacy of American citizens or the integrity of our fair government. All right, well, it says here that I have to be a citizen of the United States. Are you not a citizen? Uh, I'm a proud citizen of Oceania. Get the hell out of my office. Hey guys, so I'm headed to Best Buy right now to pick up some new cameras because um, I'm really concerned about the security of the group. You know, Julian O'Brien may not think so, but we live in a day and age where you really need surveillance on everything. And in a lot of ways, I understand why the government does survey people because realistically, there are people in the United States that break laws and video holds them accountable if they get caught. In the same vein, my neighbors might break laws around me, and I want to be able to say, you did this, and then be able to bring them to justice as well. I don't even know if I can trust Winston and Julia, so this is also why I'm doing it. So I need surveillance around my house. Can you tell me about this camera? Oh yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, this looks to be a Canon EOS Rebel T6. Great camera, highly recommend. Uh, let's see, it can stream in 1080p and upwards of 4K when you're uh, on a home network. Uh, let me get some more information here. 
Okay, yeah, it's priced at $39.99.99. Great value. Highly recommend. Would you like to buy it today? Ooh, I don't really have that kind of cash. No? Well, no, you don't. But I'm just going to put it back then? Hey, you know, you got to pay for that. Can I get security down here? We got, we got a runner. Thanks for joining me for coffee. It was a rough day at work today. Yeah? They asked me for all my private information. I, I freaked out. I couldn't believe it. I ran away. I was so angry. Honestly, I kind of had a tough day, too. There really was a happened? man who came in, and I asked if his wife wanted keys for the car, and he told me she wasn't allowed to drive. What? I know. That seems crazy to me, but the more I think about it, I mean, that's those are the laws that are put in place in the country that he came from. So I can't necessarily tell him he's wrong. It's basically like saying that, like, the rules that he's lived by, his life by are incorrect. Like, and like these jobs, they're really, really getting to us. Taking a toll on us. Yeah. How are we going to do this? I don't know. I hope O'Brien had a better day. Me too. Room 101? What does that mean? It's not what? our apartment number. What did O'Brien do? going on? I, so, I, I got fired from my job. Actually, scratch that. I didn't even get the job because the guy is like, you've got to be qualified. And I said, you know, why do I have to be qualified if other people in the government aren't? But he didn't let me get the job. So I went and I stole a bunch of cameras because, you know, I really wanted to keep you guys safe. And even if that means I got to steal cameras, like, I don't know. I understand that your intentions were good, but you know stealing is illegal, and that makes you even more unqualified to get a job. So, although you were trying to do a good thing by protecting us, it's basically an invasion of privacy because you didn't talk to us about it first. Okay, you're right. I'll get a job in the morning. Okay. A real job. A real job? A real job. Perfect. Thank you for understanding. You know, I always... uh... O'Brien! <laughs> wow! What a great episode of 30 Days! That really got crazy there at the end, didn't it? Uh, this was a great addition of... Celebrity cr literature um, 30 days. Now, just can't wait for next week. We're having guest star Rip Van Winkle, and from Lord of the Flies, we're gonna have Piggy and Ralph and Jack, and they're all gonna do 30 days stuff and live average lives. It'll be great. Come back next week, please. Hey, like, are you serious, O'Brien? Come on. Now it's only two of us. So that did not really go as planned, um, unfortunately you can't steal things, unbeknownst to me, um, and I did not get the job either, all in all, probably like a 6 out of 10 day, uh, did not appreciate being manhandled by that FBI officer, um, I now have a concussion. Um, other than that, prison looks pretty clean, pretty fun. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to meet some new friends, and, um, yeah, it's all, it's all the time that I have before I get restrained by police guards, um, so, I'll, I'll see you guys around.